So with support from the ADF, um, in the last year, we were, we were able to characterize this small molecule activator of LIN uh, in vitro using pancreatic tissues and also in mice with type 1 diabetes. Uh, and then we achieved several milestones showing that this molecule uh, regenerates beta cells and delay or cure uh, type 1 diabetes uh, in mouse models. The next big step will be to test it um, in type 1 diabetes patients. Um, and I think this can be achieved rapidly because this drug has been extensively tested in phase 2 clinical trials in type 2 diabetes, where we noticed an effect on pancreatic beta cells. So strong of these results, I think we can make the point uh, that is, it is promising, um, and then um, there's this urgency to test it in type 1 diabetes patients as well. Uh, so in our last uh, grant proposal that was submitted to the ADF, we are asking for uh, your support to test this molecule in a first cohort of participants, um, of 60 participants, and this will be used as a leverage to then uh, get more money and launch a proper or more extensive phase two clinical trials with the help of other organisms such as GDRF, for example. So in the past year, my lab um, has been successful uh, at showing that this candidate molecule, this activator of LIN, can um, induce beta cell mass regeneration uh, and prevent or delay type 1 diabetes in most models of type 1 diabetes. Um, with my, uh, my industrial partner has tested uh, or, or just completed a phase two clinical trial with this molecule in type two diabetes, uh, in people with type two diabetes. And they've shown uh, that they are persistent effect uh, on the beta cells, uh, to me, which hint at a, an effect on beta cell mass. Um, so they improve glucose control and, um, and they also increase insulin secretion. And that even after the drug was, uh, was withdrawn. So our next step with my industrial partner, so we're getting ready uh, to test this small molecule in the first and small cohort of 60 uh, participants with type 1 diabetes. And our goal will be to demonstrate uh, that we can increase uh, insulin secretion in response to a glucose challenge, uh, potentially hinting at an effect on beta cell mass. Uh, if successful, uh, we hope to accomplish this in 18 months. If successful, that will warrant um, the launch of phase two clinical trials where this molecule will be tested in larger cohorts and hopefully uh, demonstrate uh, that we have a potential treatment for type one diabetes within the next few years.